but I had to be a little bit quiet here because it is a residential area and we don't want to disturb any of the residents because they tend to be a bit rude sometimes. But what I'm showing you here is a picture of how this area used to look in comparison as it is today. Now this place right here was George Yard Buildings. It would have been the entrance within just over there by those purple bins. Now on the 7th of August 1888, two women have walked down the very same cobblestones you just walked along. Their names were Mary Ann Connolly and Martha Tabram. Now, Mary and Martha had been out that night and they'd been going around all of the pubs around the Jason Brick Lane area and they'd been getting absolutely sloshed. But they haven't been alone. They've been in the company of two men, two soldiers, one a private and the other a captain of the Coldstream Guard. Now, about 11.45, they made their way down here to actually service their customers. Now, Mary Ann Connolly has taken her customer round the corner next to the DOS house where they were standing. So Pearly Pole's gone off with her customer. But Martha Tabron decides to take her customer into George Yard Buildings. Now, Pearly Pole, as she was known, don't ask me why she was called that, services her customer and goes back to the DOS house, but Martha Tabron don't turn up. And that's because the next time we see Martha is at about 4.55 o'clock when a man called John Reeves, who lives in George Yard Buildings, comes down the stairs on his way to work and sees the most dreadful sight that of a woman completely caked in blood. He runs out in the street, tries to get a police officer as quickly as possible. It takes about 15 minutes to actually get one. But when the copper turns up, and so does the divisional surgeon, all they do, pronounce her dead, pick her up, put her in an ambulance, take her away, and wash the blood away. This is how murder was dealt with in the 19th century. But when she was taken to the mortuary and her clothes were taken off, they came across a more horrific sight, and that this woman had been terrifically stabbed a number of times. Now, this is the picture of the woman who was taken to the mortuary. Now, can anyone guess how old she was? Any ideas? 24. 24. <laughs> Ambitious. <laughs> 30s. Right. 30s. Any other ideas? 40s. This woman, Martha Tabron, was 39 years of age. Coincidentally, she was stabbed 39 times in her throat, her chest, her abdomen, and also in her sexual organs. One such wound that was infected to her chest right there was thought to have been done by a bayonet. I think they were soldiers that night. So any one of the Coldstream Guards who was on leave that night was taken to the Tower of London and questioned to find out where they were. And a lot of them were lined up in an ID parade for Mary Ann Connolly to identify. Now the first two times she was invited, she didn't even turn up. And on the third time, she was so drunk, she probably couldn't even identify her own mother let alone these soldiers. So they had to close the case down. And it, was, and it was written down at the inquest as willful murder by person or persons unknown. Unfortunately, my friends, this is not the last time we're gonna hear this verdict in what is now known as the Autumn of Terror. Let's go.